I could hear his voice shaking, and he said, I feel like our son's world is growing darker by the minute. I'm Ivy Steinberg, and I'm the mother of Jack Steinberg. I would not trade this child for any child in the world. We actually adopted Jack at birth, and I was the first one to hold him. I cut the umbilical cord. Then at his six-month checkup is when his doctor said, you know, I don't like the way his eyes are tracking. So in turn, we took him to Children's Hospital and found out that he had something called optic nerve hypoplasia. And as far as Jack's legs go, it's a disconnect of the brain trying to communicate to the rest of the body what it needs to do. One of the things that's so important for Jack is that he's standing. And the reason why is because the Achilles tendons start to shorten through time if they sit too much. And that requires surgery. Jack attends a school called Wish Charter, and the amazing parents there are so much part of the school. One of those parents, Dr. Matt Sanowski, is the engineering professor at LMU. And it was his idea to do a project with his engineers to help Jack. He came to us and he said, what do you need? What would make Jack's world better? So I said, you know what would be really great? And we use a stander for Jack to be able to stand, but it's not even a traditional medical stander. It's a walker locked down with weights on it so he doesn't tip over, but we can't really move it around very easily. So they said, we'll do it. We'll go ahead and work something up. So he put his engineering students on this and we're beyond thrilled. This could just really open up his world so much. I just can't wait to see it. Meeting Jack and Ivy for the first time was so cool. Jack is the most awesome kid. And he's really smart, really funny. He's able to pick up on things so quickly. So it was really, really cool to get to see who we were building this project for. At first, it was awkward to meet him. I'd never been in a situation with someone with such condition. And it kind of scared me at first, you know, I was like, what, what's he thinking? What's going on in his head? But then as we talked to him, I kind of realized, you know, this guy's got a sense of humor just like me. He has this great personality. And, you know, it just kind of changed how I felt. We're making this device specifically for him. So if you were to just go out and purchase a device and use it, those are mass produced and they make those devices for a general condition, whereas what we're designing is specifically for Jack. Every one of our requirements we have listed to meet his specific needs. Here we have a 3D model of the Mobi S stander. This assembly features two rotating clamps attached to the main channel. The clamps can be attached to a variety of surfaces using two knobs. The main channel houses all of the components in the assembly. Located in the left and right side channels are the pivot pieces. The pivot pieces house the vertical extension bars, which allow the system to be adjusted in height as the user grows. Attached to the vertical extension bars are the side pads, which can be adjusted inward and outward for a specified waist size. As an added safety feature, a back bar is attached to the system through the vertical extension bars. When the stander is not in use, it can be folded down for easy transport by Jack and his family. The difference between getting the device from the engineers and purchasing something from a company, you can purchase anything you want, pretty much, but there are thousands and thousands of dollars. So a lot of times what you do is you go through insurance, but the insurance companies are no longer seeing standards as being medically necessary, which is ridiculous. For people who don't have the means to be able to do some of the things we've been able to do breaks my heart. It just breaks my heart. Some kids need a lot more than Jack and some parents are constantly on the phone 
with the insurance company just trying to get the basic things that their kids need. And that's just, that's criminal. It is. This project was design, manufacturing, testing. It's literally everything. The time constraints that were brought on by manufacturing is what made our project really difficult. A couple mistakes we made. We didn't go to the vendors and see what sizes they had of raw material. So we just designed, you know, based on whatever dimensions we wanted. And then we got to the store and they were like, oh, we only have it in these dimensions. So we had to go back, make all this stuff over again. And then also some of our elements like weren't strong enough. We just recently had a clamp break. So we got to redesign that completely. But it's all a learning process. And I, I don't have any doubt that we're going to finish this project. I think we'll be able to complete it before the end of the year. Physically, obviously this is a good thing for Jack. Mentally, it's enormous because he is able to look eye to eye with his peers. It just gives him more confidence in every facet of his life. There is no limit to what he can do and he knows that. It's one of those things that now that I see him being able to have these gains and get where he wants to be, it's, it's exactly what you want for your child, what anybody wants for their child. You want them to reach their full potential every time he reaches a milestone. It's just, as a mother, it takes your breath away. It just does. I have met the most incredible people because of this child. And the engineering students are right there in that group. These engineering students could kick off a worldwide change for people with disabilities. They really could. Being able to do this project was more of a blessing than anything to me because I'm able to do something that I want to do with my skill set. Like, I'm not being paid to do this. I'm doing it because it interests me and I want to help Jack and I want to help people. Like, he's not going to be the last person that I built something for to help. He's just the first. It's something that's benefiting his life so much and, you know, without it, he could not have a chance to walk, but with it, maybe he'll be able to walk. If I hadn't connected with the engineers, Jack, would still be locked down to that walker, locked in place, until he's able to walk around on his own. His world is gonna change with this device. You know, I have a feeling we're gonna see him doing things that we hadn't anticipated because he will be mentally thinking, I am standing. Mm -hmm. I love all this independence. I love that you work by yourself. I love that soon you'll be able to stand wherever you want to with your stander. And I love that you're working with CME and you're going to be able to walk all by yourself someday. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you.